everybody, it's Pat Patterson from Sirius XM NASCAR Radio and ESPN Radio, and the Brandt team is welcoming you to Texas Motor Speedway. This week it's the mile and a half at Texas. It's a tough racetrack, but it's one our driver is excited about. Here's Justin with some of the inside on what it takes to go fast at Texas. You know, Texas is a, is a very interesting mile and a half for us. Um, fun racetrack, got a lot of character. Uh, you know, there's some pretty massive bumps in turn one and two that, that uh, are a little bit hard to navigate, you know, for some. Um, the front straightaway is completely flat. It, it, it's kind of crazy uh, when you get there. You know, most of the mile and a half have a sweeping front straightaway and got a little banging to them. Uh, Texas has a really flat, almost of a tri-oval uh, type front straightaway, which uh, it's not challenging per se, but it's just a different look. Um, the track is extremely fast, and it, it's going to be a good test for us to see where where our mile and a half stuff program was and is. Um, you know, obviously Vegas is earlier, so we we get a good challenge on on Vegas, and then we get to re kind of evaluate our mile and a half program once we get back here to Texas. You know, Texas is one of the most difficult mile and a half we go to. Uh, it's still got a decent amount of grip, but it is very rough. Uh, what that does for us is that that'll, that doesn't allow our splitter to, to really settle and seal off on the ground. We really have to be mindful of, of being able to get the, the, the car to travel the right way. Um, obviously, going through those bumps, you got to learn how to navigate them. Uh, you got to drive them a little bit differently than you would, a, say, a, a Vegas or an Atlanta or, or a Charlotte. So it's, uh, it's a challenging racetrack, and I think that that's what makes it, makes it one of the funnest uh, mile and a halfs on the circuit.